Hey everybody, Scott Detweiler here. Today I thought I'd talk about something that uh, many of you who shoot weddings might run into, and that is uh, that you have more than one card through more than one photographer uh, on the day of the big event, and you have each taken copies of each other's cards, because uh, we shoot duplicates and then I trade cards uh, with my uh, partner. We then go back and we both cull all those images to figure out which ones we like from that day, and then uh, he'll determine which ones he likes from that day. And then we want to trade that information back and forth. And it's really not simple to say, I want, um, you know, how, how do I get his pictures when I already have all the raws and I don't want to upload those to an FTP site or a Dropbox or something ridiculous like that and then redownload them. How can we do this in a very efficient manner? And I'm going to talk about it both from the uh, perspective of Capture One as well as Lightroom today. Um, I had to dig out my copy of Lightroom and install it just so I could kind of walk through that with you today because I'm a Capture One user for the most part. Uh, but you can certainly do this in Lightroom as well. Uh, so the secret to this is really working with the files at the directory level um, inside of Windows. So if you're a Mac user, that's fine. If, um, if you're a Windows person, then I got you covered here. Uh, if you're a Mac person, I'm sure these tools are available to you, although I'm not, um, I, I don't know the, the products and so on. Uh, so what I do is I have all of the folder or all of the items here in one big folder. So it's just the capture folder. So this would be just like it is in Lightroom. Um, now, uh, I have everything in here. And when you call them in Capture One, you actually physically move them to a selects folder. So Capture One actually moves the, fo the file. I mean, it doesn't create a virtual copy like Lightroom does. It actually moves it. So anything that's in the selects folder when I'm done are the actually the pictures I want to keep. Uh, everything in the capture folder are the things that didn't quite make the cut, and eventually I'm going to end up deleting them when I need hard drive space. Uh, there are almost 1,900, a little over 1,900 images shot on this day, uh, so it's somewhat short wedding uh, for two shooters. And uh, what I want to do is I want to figure out which one of those uh, images really ends up being the best ones. Now, we haven't started retouching anything yet. We're still in the culling process. So he went ahead and he culled all of his and figured out which images that he wanted to keep. And I need to figure out which ones that uh, I need to keep and we want to trade that information. So how do you do that? Uh, so the way that I do that is, uh, first of all, you would use your product to go ahead and select all those images and move them all into here. And I haven't done that yet. Um, so he's, he actually got to this right away because I had a bunch of other stuff happen. Uh, so he got them all called. And what I want to do is show you what he did. So what he did is he sent me a list of all of the files that he, um, all the file names that he took. Now, uh, this is what this looks like. And I'm just opening this in Notepad++, which is a free application uh, that I highly recommend for um, anything you're dealing with text. Uh, and all he did was put these file names in here. So you're like, how did he do that? How did he get the file names in here? And really the secret of that is using just the DOS prompt. So you can get to that by hitting your Windows key um, and then hitting uh, CMD, uh, which will bring up command and then changing your directory until you're in the place where all of those would be. Now, normally I would do this in the selects directory, but as I showed you, mine is empty. Uh, so in here, if I type DIR, I get this big file list and it's got all this other junk that I don't want. What I want is a nice clean list like this. Uh, so to get that, you just type DIR and then you do slash B at the end and that will just give you a bare list. Uh, so if you hit your up arrow, you can repeat what you just typed. And then you just do is you put a little uh, a greater than symbol and then give it the name of the file name that you want to give to uh, the other person. So selects.txt and this would create a file uh, with just that text in it. And I have one here, um, like I showed you. So this is the result of that. Uh, so now what I can do is I don't need these first two lines, obviously, um, but the rest of this is all good. And it's just, these are the files that he felt uh, are the selects. So inside of Capture One, I can do is I can just uh, select them all, Control A, Control C to copy. Again, that's select all and then copy. That's all I did. And then I go into Capture One and you do select select by file name list and then paste it in here and then uh, I tell it that I'm these are delimited by a new line and it'll go ahead and, and I just hit okay and then what it's going to do is it's going to go through and find all the images from the rest of the day that that uh, he likes so it's selected 674 of these and what I can do is I can just hit this move all to selects folder so now it's going to move <laughs> 
She's gonna love that picture. She's gonna move all. The, it'll move all those pictures into uh, that folder. Now, if you're a Lightroom person, and I have an older wedding here, I had to, as I say, I, this is from 2017. I had to dig for this one, uh, and I don't have any selects from this one uh, because of the way Lightroom works. I did shoot this with another person, so as we always have two photographers whenever I shoot a wedding. Uh, so we have multiple angles and we're always sure to catch all the big pictures. Uh, plus one of us can be setting up lighting while the other one is shooting the dance and then drag them outside, shoot like the hero shots and then get them back inside. So what I want to do is I want to do the same thing. However, Lightroom has limitation of that it needs to be common delimited. So to get this, you just hit control F. Uh, again, I'm not a Lightroom person, but that'll bring up the search dialog here. And you need to type in a common delimited list. Now, we don't have a common delimited list. We have uh, this thing. So in order to solve that problem, in Notepad++ anyway, that's the way that you need to do it in my mind, you would do, uh, um, I'm sorry, you would do a control F for find. Oh, that's already up over here. No wonder, I was like, what's going on? And it looks like this. It's the uh, bracket slash R slash N bracket plus. This means that find all the new lines and you wanna make sure that down here you have under search mode, regular expression checked. And this will find all of your new lines and we wanna replace it with a comma and a space and just hit replace all. And it should highlight everything. And now we have a comma delimited list of all those same things. So again, we can see the same thing, edit, and we would do a copy. Control C, go back in here and then paste this train wreck into here. And if they're present, it will go ahead and find them all for you. Uh, so that's how you would handle that. Uh, that would then give you all the ability to take these and move them all into a different folder or however you're dealing in, in Lightroom, probably creating a, an album or something else. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not a Lightroom person for how to manage files like this. I just find it a lot harder to deal with because at the end of the day, everything in the capture folder can be deleted. Um, if I didn't show it to the client and it's not something the client's going to want and it, it's just not worthy, why keep those other, you know, thousand plus photos around um, once you've got your, your product retouched and your day shot and it's been a while, you know, you give it a, a good, maybe a year, then I'm going to go ahead and purge everything in that capture folder because I don't need it anymore. In Lightroom, you're going to have to go back and find out everything that isn't in this list and maybe you do that by star rating or something else, and then filter. Remember to go back and do that. Um, I also make sure that my everything in my selects folders are backed up every night to the cloud, where everything in my capture folder is backed up to my two local drives, but it is not pushed up to the cloud. Uh, because again, those are not things that I plan on keeping in the long run. Uh, cloud space is somewhat limited and expensive compared to local storage. So those are the things that I can automatically push and move around. So I thought that would be kind of interesting for you who do shoot weddings and have more than one photographer on how to keep track of what's going on. Um, this is how I do it. And by doing this method, we can keep track of what we've shot and know that everything now is in the selects folder uh, where it should be. And I have all of the images now that will be backed up to the cloud and so on. But this is how the two of us can trade our file lists back and forth back and forth. And I can actually create another directory and then call those into there and send him that list as well. So using the text select, select by file name is very handy. If you're also a user of uh, certain in-person sales products like Enviewed, uh, which is the one that we use, uh, once the client has selected images of that, you can actually export that common delimited list as well and do the exact same thing in Lightroom or in Capture One. So I hope that was helpful. It's just a problem that I dealt with for a while. And I know there's a lot of people who shoot with multiple photographers at weddings and probably have a completely weird way of exchanging information on who shot what. And rather than moving the entire files from person to person, if you both have copies, which you both should have just for the sake of having backups on multiple locations, uh, then this is a really easy and uh, let's say quick and simple way to exchange information without having to deal with the full file. So I will catch you next time. Take care.